Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Studio Set, and today I'm going to show you how to use some of our virtual desks in Adobe After Effects. So we have some uh, two volumes currently of desks. There's like five desks per volume, and they're basically uh, PNG, Targa, and Photoshop files. Uh, you can import these files into After Effects or Premiere or whatever video editor you're using, and then put them uh, on a layer above your talent layer and um, put them in the scene. So you can see we have this little desk right here and it has a little TV monitor inside of it. And I'm gonna show you today how to put this into your scene, kind of the best way to film your um, green screen talent, and then how to kind of combine everything together and put it all in your composition. So let me delete what I have here. All right. And then what I'll do is I'll start by creating a new composition with uh, my background layer. And so I'll drag that file into the new Create Composition button. And that will create a, a new composition at the exact size and frame rate of our virtual background here. Um, we also have this background on our site as well um, for sale. The next thing that I'll do is grab my footage for my talent layer, and I'll drag that, bring it down onto the timeline, and then I will bring down a virtual table onto the timeline, right there. And so that'll do for right now. So, first things first, I am going to position this table where I want it in the scene. And so I will just uh, click and drag, move it around. You can scale it up and down. These are all rendered in 4K, and so you have a lot of room in an HD composition to zoom in and zoom out and uh, do some things like that. Uh, so I'll just bring it down maybe about right there. We'll probably have to fine tune it once we get our talent footage in there. Next I'll do is uh, un hide our talent footage, and then I'm going to remove the green screen. Um, just to show you kind of what the setup is here, we have our talent filmed on a green screen background, and then we have a desk in the foreground in front of our talent, and uh, there is a green screen draped onto this desk. And so what that allows us to do is when we go to put the uh, talent layer into this piece of footage where the desk is, um, it just allows us to not have to mask out his legs. So if, if this was a normal green screen shoot, his legs would continue on down right there. And then when we, when we went to put him into the scene with the desk, um, we could put him behind the desk, but then his arms and such would be also behind the desk. And so this way, you can actually put him on top of the uh, desk footage but you can still get this, so it looks like he's leaning on the virtual desk, but he's actually leaning on this physical desk that's in, that's in the scene. So it's an interesting way of doing it, and it uh, works pretty well, and it's pretty simple and pretty cheap and effective because you can just grab another green screen, throw it over any kind of solid surface, and then just uh, chroma key it out. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is I'm gonna go over to my effects, go to keying, go to key light, is the keying effect I like to use in After Effects. Um, I won't go into all the details about the best way to key, um, but uh, uh, I will kind of run through it pretty quickly. So I'm going to select and sample the green in my scene. I'm going to click the pen tool to create a quick garbage mat to mask out these lights that are in the scene. So that all we have to deal with is the talent and not the rest of this stuff in there. Um, and then I'll come over here to screen mat. Uh, actually, I'll go first to uh, change my view to screen mat so we can see what the mat's looking like currently. And then I usually I'll just adjust this up and down until I get kind of a
Thank you. 